Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you all had a good weekend. Time for some more of this stupid game. Just keeps going, going. 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 <laughs> Why are the troll wearing like an M masks? They're not edgy enough as it is. Okay, what the fuck are we doing? Okay, I think we finished the first floor except for the Dark Elf camp, which is just absurd. We'll come back to that. As late as humanly possible, so we can get some level ups. So where do we go down? It's up. open this door. I remember opening that door. Uh, quality note. Okay, so the, the two ways to go downstairs are way the hell up there. This is. Just forgot to mark this down, I guess. Every time I load this game up after, after a couple days off, my first instinct is to zoom out. <laughs> and then I remember that I can't. And I get sad. Alright, so I kind of want to double check what that staircase is. Let's just wait to the surface. Why the heck did I mark that on the map? like a door. Oh, 
Open the damn door. Fishish. Okay, second floor. Hello, I'm Sigo. How you doing, man? Oh yes, I swapped out the combat music. We got some total annihilation music now. Forgot about that. I did that on like Friday. Are these guys gonna come running in here? That's a holy fart. For fighters. <clears throat> this is going to be interesting. I think they're too stupid to open the door, though. So I guess we could clear out the room, position our people to blockade the door, and then take them on. I just opened the door. Hey, Salt Snap. So, how do you not have line of sight on anybody out here? What? What is he casting? without it overwhelming everything. That's not bad.
This is from uh, Total Annihilation. Which has a really, really awesome orchestral soundtrack. Back when Jeremy Soul still gave a shit. Oh, I don't have line of sight to hit him again, even though I just hit him twice! This fucking game. Oh my god. Jammed. I can't get out of the room to hit this guy. This, this is... This is getting really old. Really old. Can't move. Ow. Is this guy's are 30 armor glass? Is that all? Okay, that was uh, quite the little encounter there. Duck life level up though. Choose one second level spell. Okay. Should have seen visible.
the fall spell. What does Cloud Kill do in this game? Kill anything with three or fewer hit dice. Cause creatures with four to six hit dice to make fortitude, saving throw or die. Six or more hit dice. Choke. Most of the enemies we're fighting have like 15 hit dice now, so <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help. Let's take corn corn, I guess. There's a map here of an area of, of dungeon. It shows rooms to the north held by a cult. Rooms in the middle rife with undead and rooms to the south held by the Freth. We keep finding copies of this stupid map everywhere. It's the exact same thing. It's not even like an actual map we can see. It's all text. Real helpful. <sighs> like how the song kicks in at the very end of it. Songs from uh, Total Annihilation. of displacement. Yippee. Do 
Dwarven silvered steel light mallet, light hammer plus two. Boy. Ocean of bull string. There's some hot, hot fucking treasures here. Full plate plus one. First floor. Good thing we wasted a party slot on this rogue, though. Should have just taken another fighter. Or another cleric. Second cleric would have been good. <clears throat> An Archmage? Okay. Why is he able to heal himself? Lieutenant Calvert, I hereby request reassignment to the guard. Sorry, to guard the storage rooms. It's too far to the latrine from my current post. Given the quality of the rations we've been given, I'm not about to drop my pants out there with them ghouls shambling about. Filbert. This area is like completely locked in. We have to go back upstairs and go to the other staircase, I guess. Fantastic! Out. 
and then over this way. It's a dead end. Well, it looks like this might be an opening. It's at least every least door here. And through here. Okay. We should, at least we don't have to go like all the way down and around or anything from the looks of it. stuck. Come on. There's a secret door here we never went into. Seems no one has entered here for many years. Bone handled light mace, crypt cleanser. Versus undead, plus four to hit and damage. Cast control undead, plus four armor class versus undead. If you want to keep like an anti undead mace, how about like a mace of disruption? That would be cool. Very much enjoy that. Strike! Nice of them to start me. Right next to fucking my spellcaster here. Just completely surrounded now. Wonderful. You won't even let me move him out of there. Defend yourself.
They seem to like line up the staircases correctly. It's to their location above. It's this guy, and this guy. Enthralled the drow. Okay. So I guess the, the drow and the cult are not working together? They're being enslaved by the cult, somehow? Question. Cults seem to be significantly easier to deal with than the drow, so I'm not quite sure how that that plays out. Restoration. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Note, it reads, Galabelle. As you may not know, we lost last night's watch at this post. Something big came through and tore up four bloodless row and took off with a mage's body before reinforcements could arrive. Thanks for switching duty with us tonight. Good luck, Lieutenant Jerk. Scroll of Searing Light. I'm not even picking that up. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the draw in this game are pretty goddamn ridiculous. Help me now! What? Breath draw. It sounded like he said, help me now, but I don't see anybody but the draw. At least these guys are not anywhere near as ridiculously high level as the other ones. The ones upstairs, goddamn. Yeah, 
doesn't seem to have the uh, the magic resistance going on either. Short sword. Wand of Cure series wounds. or so keys we need or something like that. This floor is kind of punch. This floor is kind of punch. <clears throat> but yeah, according to somebody in my YouTube comments, the reason nobody's heard of Aracats is because they were created specifically for this game. Which is very weird. This is like the only, like non-humanoid enemy in the whole game instead of just taking something from the D&D monster manual they're like let's make something up it's very odd Yes, yes, there's there's not enough monsters in D&D, so they felt the need to come up with their own. These things don't even do, like, anything unique. You think if you were going to take the time to, like, create a brand new monster, that you'd, like, come up with something, like, cool and unique? This game and its book. Doesn't surprise me. Like, you'd think the giant, like, stinger tail would be, like, poisonous or paralysis or something, but they don't seem to do anything, they just hit you. this game had like a like six week development cycle or something like <laughs> it feels it's so light despite the fact that it's a million hours long it's like incredibly light on actual content there's barely any enemies it's one dungeon tiles it <sighs> 
For just a moment, you have a vision of mages chanting and portals rending the air. Then snap. We're back in the air now. Secret door here. Oh look, it's, it's another fucking glitch out of nowhere. Fantastic. That not dispel their confusion? Why is he not getting a turn? What? Why is he not getting a turn? I don't... I don't understand. Two step. No, this is this is running Windows 10. Oh. 
Dagger of warding. Junk. Bottle of congealing extract of demon liver. Potion effects unknown. What is with all these like random unknown potions? Breakable box is trapped. What? <laughs> Destroy the Lich's phylactery and scatter his life force to the winds of oblivion. I was not expecting this game to have a fucking Lich's phylactery in it, but... There you go. The other Liches we fought didn't have one, but one of them did. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah. I need to find out what these liver potions do. Haste. The cast haste. Does anybody like this game? <laughs> I'm playing the game and I don't like it. Nobody here but a stone! It's a good thing we have this mouth to let us understand Gargoyle's speech. Flapping wings make it hard to target the queen.
<laughs> Seagull, thank you very much for the four subs, dude. Keep counting, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Apparently they've, they've given up on trying to, like, come up with treasure, and they're just, like, throwing lots of gem, gems at us now. Apparently we need money. And a crap. Maybe. Uh... There we go. This game's gotten a lot more crashy now that we're in this second dungeon. Update the uh... oh. oh, that's actually giant lines hit. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> looks like we're playing giant lines after we're doing this. Get going on Jagan Lines too. Okay, uh back to Do I have to fight the gargoyles again. I don't think I saved after I killed them. It's a pretty easy fight, though. Yeah, this is the lich's room. Alright. I should have cast Divine Power while I was buffing. run up in point blank it's a guy in the face why why are gems even in this game there's nothing to spend your money on like, here's, here's just this gem pile that gives you a little bit of gold. Wow.
future DLC. Yeah, maybe. No, what do you... Dull brass key. An elven royal dagger. No, this is the second dungeon. It just happens to have the exact same tile set as the first dungeon. So there's no way to actually tell that you're in a completely different dungeon. In this uh, high quality video game here. The dull brass key that we looted from this room opened this door. Okay. Why? Why put the key in the same room as the door? Catacombs level 3. This map shows a skull and a chasm in the center, and a pair of crossed axes to the west. The southern area is marked with many axes. Three exits are noted, two up, one down. Old worn out foot footwear. Ancient holy leather boots. Holy with an E. Is in there full of holes. <laughs> I might need them as a quest item or something, but they're probably just there as a joke. Fragile iron key needed. I mean, every, every item in this game that has, like, a unique name like that is a quest item, so... I mean, I could leave them and then spend, like, ten hours at the end of the game trying to find them. Or I could just take them now. somebody in our party who could pick locks. Wouldn't that be cool? In the air lingers the haze of spent flame spells and the faint scent of blood.
We got six level spells, of which there's heal and harm. <laughs> Those are the only six level spells they implemented. Heal and harm. All right. Well, at least we have heal. Heal is awesome. Oily iron key. Right, need that. Ooh, plus five arrows. Fancy. I haven't actually had to use magic arrows a single time this game. I used them once for the hell of it, but there's no uh, enemies that can't be hit by like regular arrows. Why do you have a sling? Weird. Under silver key. Swallow the scant mouthful of water left in this barrel. In moments, new strength courses through your muscles. Yeah, plus one permanent strength. Okay. Cool. The barrel is empty. Okay, so we found the slender silver key and an oily iron key. What keys there? Don't know what the slender silver key is for. Might be upstairs for all I know. Uh, so we have to go here. Whatever this lich casts, just. It's just going to stay there until the end of time. Yep. Welcome back to our humble shelter under the gentle cloak of the Lady of Mystery. Rest easy, travelers. You told us earlier that our adversary is the Cult of the Dragon. Mm hmm. We have learned something about that fell company. Oh, yeah? What? The cult is a very secretive organization, as you may know. Usually divided by factions and infighting and backstabbing. This keeps them from ever striking out with their full power. A pool of radiance is a mighty thing, however. Faced with its power, all the cult seems to have come to an agreement to protect the pool and nurture it. I'm afraid the cult forces here are going to grow in strength very rapidly. Soon, no one will be able to stand against them. But that isn't what a pool of radiance... <laughs> Did these guys bother to play the first game? Uh... 
Full of Radiance is not a source of power. It's, it's a dupe. It's a lie. It's a trick. It's a prison. I got like four turns to figure out how to open the door. Welcome to the hallway. Welcome to the streets, motherfucker. They worked on the Savage Savage Empire, Savage Frontier, whatever they're called, Gold Box games, not not actually Pool of Radiance, so And who knows how many people at the company were around back then. Like this is like ten years after that, so I wouldn't be surprised if nobody who worked on Savage Frontier worked on this game. Potion of Dark Nega Poison. Right. We used that to poison a well before. So we could murder some fish. Scroll of Fear. Scroll of Inflict Serious Wounds. of protection from poison. I say, and, and, and declare yourselves. These guys are enslaving Jero, and they're just like, oh, 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 God, I'm so scared.
Oh, I did. Damn it. what the factors of speed are. I think it's probably four times, I would guess. I'm, I'm speeding it up twice. So if it's times two per per, per push, then it's, it's four times right now. This is way faster than normal. <laughs> At default speed, this game is unfucking playable Large metal key. these guys going? Plus three vanilla longsword. Nice that Chastu has a very odd visual style. He went for uh, he was trying to go for tokens, like a proper tabletop look. But then everybody uh, complained that the tokens looked bad, so now he's been like implementing sprites, but they look weird too. <laughs> Guy can't win. He should just stuck with the like Ultima Six style visuals of the first game. Could have even like 
recycled all the sprites. Just have to make new ones for new stuff. A common small shield, yeah. That's the kind of loot you want to find 40 hours into a game. <clears throat> A fireball orange. Sling. A plus one spear. Oh boy. Notice something. Bloody tracks emerge from under the north door. Disappear under the door to the south. There's a whiff of ancient decay in the air. More undead, I'm guessing. Okay. One zombie lord? What? And suddenly a bunch of fucking cultists appear in the other room. What the fuck? There isn't even like a door connecting us, why are they- This game is so jank. <laughs> Like, literally, how am I going to end this fight? These guys are going to come, like, over here. There's no door here. What? I can't even, like, scroll up anymore to see if there's like a path I could take. I'm like trapped right here. This is this is so bad. And now they're all standing around. Are you fucking kidding me game? All this to fight one zombie?
哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒。哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒。You cannot move too far away from combat. I can't go outside. I guess we'll just fucking stand here and just end our turn over and over. Maximum speed up. Is anybody? Oh, Jesus! Okay, they're starting to get to us now. You cannot move too far. I can't even go into the hallway to fight them. Oh, this, this fucking game. Alright, let's lure them in here, I guess. Oh god. Okay, good. There's like one enemy, well, there's multiple enemies that are just standing out in the middle of goddamn nowhere now. Oh, that one's moving. I guess this has made what was probably going to be a challenging fight, having to fight them all in one room pretty easy by having them run at a single file, so I guess we could be thankful for that. You fucking idiot. Awesome. Awesome. That's that's exactly what I was going for there. He ate an attack of opportunity. Hugh. 
Yes. Yeah, he was, he was... The, the way this game handles attacks of opportunity is like, if you're like, engaged with someone in melee and move, they'll get an attack of opportunity. But if you're not engaged with somebody and walk by them, they don't do an attack of opportunity. It's mm -hmm. very weird. Everything in this game is very weird though, so... Come as no surprise. Oh yes. And we must investigate the room that had the one zombie in it that triggered this entire nonsensical thing from happening. Fuck did you come from? Yeah, attacks of opportunity in this game are jacked. And of course they give your your fighters, because you have no choice, the the feats that give you like improved attacks of opportunity, but you never actually do them, so it's wasted feats. <clears throat> He's level 12. Sure, have some more dexterity. <clears throat> Did you get any feats? We got that at level 10. Okay. I think all of this he already had. I think. Maybe he didn't have toughness. I think toughness might be new. Yeah. Yeah. 
Weapon finesse would be nice. <laughs> why would why would a rogue want weapon finesse though? Still two attacks. Why are these these guys not I even shot a fireball at these two and they're just like, yeah, whatever. This game is so confusing. <laughs> No, what are you doing? <laughs> so I had fireball. I tried to target it. Apparently I clicked on an invalid spot and then it canceled his fireball and just moved him. Wow. Wow, this game is fucked. Inside the room! Oh. 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 Just kill this fucking asshole. Well, Emmerich's dead, dead. Boom, 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 boom. Note, it reads, Lieutenant Grudy, I am under some pressure to see to it that the surviving fire witches are brought before Lady Mordrain. Get off your lazy rump and find the witches by dawn, or I personally will cut off your bulbous nose, Brigadier Hellhorn. The Emmet is going down a lot. It's 24 armor class. A plus four long spear. Gold. Oh, wow. Wow.
descend about a hundred stairs. You find the air here is murky and the atmosphere unwholesome and tainted with dread. Catacombs lower key. They stopped numbering the floors. I don't know if this is the third or fourth floor. Cool. There's an upper keep. There's another one of those things. Assuming they're fast travel, but I don't know how to activate them. Ring of Souls, cast Halt Undead. <clears throat> yes, once they're done with this adventure, they get to retire. It's it's your high score counter. So that when you replay this game, you can you can try to get a higher score next time. do we have? Fire meat ceremonial key. Cold brass, cold brass. Rusty, rusty. Alright, we don't have any of the keys we need. Let's go. Cool. I guess we need to go to the third floor then. Or, or whatever the next floor is. Need to till. Yeah, I don't speak dipshit. Tell Thalra. Hold surface crawlers. Nachlilik, first daughter of the House of Kilsek, commands parley. Sure. You choose well. The way around this chasm is long and perilous. 
Hear me out, and I will lower the drawbridge. All right, continue. I've been watching your progress against the cult. Your enemy is my enemy, and that can make us allies for a time, yes? I'm listening. A cult mage blocks my path at a stairway far south and west of here. He bears the staff of sunlight. It can be of use to you. Kill him, take the staff, and stay far away from me and mine. What does a staff of sunlight do? See for yourself, take it, cast its light upon the freth, watch them fry at its gaze. Why do you hate the freth? The reasons are my own. Agree or refuse, I tire of looking at you. Why do you want to get past the mage? Because he keeps me from my prey and from my death. That's the only joy left for me now. The freth have seen to that. They lured us here with promises of glory. The cult was to give us dominion over Mithranor, titles, riches. Lies. We were the price the freth paid for power. Our blood fed to the cult's dracolich. Our souls sucked from living bodies. You've seen my people. They're trapped between life and death. Slaves. Only I survived to free them. Speak, will you kill the mage? Sure. Then go all the way north, then east, then south, then all the way west to find the stair. It is south of an Arakat warren. Beware those fierce marauders. The staff will do the cult little good against you. Behold, the bridge is yours. But beware, sunwalkers, for the peace between us is brief and fragile. Gem studded key. Hey, thank you for the bits, Tex. Appreciate that, man. Do you have to cast darkness? Apparently, the gems took a key open this. You're immediately struck by the feeling of an enduring presence. These were chambers of a powerful person, a wizard, most likely. Strong traces of his or her spirit persist. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's that's not good. Attacks of opportunity, what are those? Just walk right by him. One of the things that made gold box combat so great is that attacks of opportunity work properly and the AI was programmed not to trigger them unless it absolutely had to. So you could actually control the battlefield by positioning characters intelligently and using attacks of opportunity to blockade enemies from getting by. It gave the combat like a ton of strategy because you were able to like manipulate the battlefield. Not in this game. When you're implementing your mechanics worse than a game from 1988, <laughs> uh, you're in a bit of trouble. What are you talking about? 
What's going to hit my rogue? I'm liking my, my combat music choice today. Fits quite well. Managed to get through that fight without having anybody get drained somehow. I think I made all my saving throws. Somehow. I'd be more annoyed about the lack of six level spells, but I'd be, uh... I'd be just memorizing a million heals anyway. <laughs> didn't, didn't do a pull. Just put Jagged Lines 2 in there. I'm assuming since you guys wanted to see Jagged Lines 1 so bad, you want to see the sequel, so... Mass Suggestion? on top of me. That's the, the weirdest thing about the AI in this game is they paralyze your characters and then instead of taking advantage of the free the free critical hits they get they just ignore your paralyzed characters and move on to other people. Which is a good thing for me but it's kind of bad AI. I can't fucking move. How is he out of range? You just hit him. What?
Lucky game. Ugh. Pure garbage. I can't get past because of Captain Paralysis is here. yellow and something else is gonna jump us here soon <laughs> yeah. unfinished potion of neutralized poison effects unknown untested potion of invisibility prototype potion of sleep So far, all of these, like, experimental potions have been just really worthless. <clears throat> wand with missing gems. Incomplete wand of slay living. Effect unknown. Uh-huh. Delicate gold key. Decaying parchment. It reads, just remember the proper components. No. Wait. Yes. My head. My aching head. Uh-huh. Law to scroll of burning hands. Spell effects unknown. Uh, I'm not even paying this question. Yeah, I don't know why you would write that down. <laughs> Red tinted full plate mail. Casts fireball. An upgrade for him. That's good. All right, now Emmerich can shoot fireballs out of his chest, I guess. <laughs> Ill-written scroll of free action. I'm taking these things. Oh, stupid half-finished things. The stuff of life. Reborn. Why won't it? Another corpse. This guy trying to, like, resurrect somebody. It's the fucking D&D &D universe. Resurrection is not that hard. That's a lot of morgues. Holy shit. Not what he. Uh,
I'll let it turn undead. get paralyzed. Do you think what some of my wizards could take some turns here? Before they all move out of the way? That would be nice. You need a better viewpoint. Well then why is it showing me a crosshair and not an X? You fucking piece of shit game. Notice the X when you're an invalid target. Why is it showing me a valid target and then saying it's not valid? What are you doing? Oh, I hate this game. Banks has 127 hit points? <laughs> our priest has more hit points than either of our fighters. I didn't even notice that. Holy fuck. Okay. These guys are like completely immune to being paralyzed. This is ridiculous.
good. Fuck! Can anybody else use a wand of resurrection? Last restricts you from equipping that item. How about a rogue? Cool, we get to do that entire incredibly long fight again. <laughs> That's exciting. Yellow is supposed to be a chance of being attacked. Is it just 100%? No? Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. He plugged the hole! Oh. This game is so fucking stupid. Oh, it hurts my head. No, I don't want to interact with the door. I want to stand in front of the door. Can, can I stand in front of the door? Okay. Get back inside.
Uh, roughly 40 hours ish. 35 to 40. Massive Dark Metal Great Axe, Roth's Executioner. Cast Bestow Curse, plus 5 Axe, plus 7 versus Humanoids, plus 1 Reflex Saving Throws, plus 4 Regular Saving Throws, or Fortitude Saving Throws, minus 6 Intelligence. Interesting. So I said, like every item in this game has to have a uh, like a downside to it. Wolf's head hilted longsword, wound wolf, another plus five weapon, cast vampire touch, no downside to it. It's sad when even like plus five weapons don't seem that appealing when you have weapons that do double damage. <clears throat> This is a one-handed axe. So if I we could find a shield, we could give this guy a shield again. He could use this instead of uh, Helm Cleaver. Although Helm Cleaver gives him plus three strength, which is pretty good. But yeah, we're finally finding equipment that is competitive with items we found at the beginning of the fucking game. Because the itemization of this game is just backwards. My six intelligence panel is not really not that big of a deal. Since there are literally no character classes in this game that give a shit about intelligence. Outside of, I guess, skill points. Skill points that you can't even distribute. Okay, who is stuck? What are you doing to Duck Live? Get out of there. Everybody is like jammed up here. Stop it! Oh my god. Key table! Dude, what are you doing? You were moving too far from the party leader. Oh my god. This fucking game. Hi, Iron. This game sucks! <laughs> yes! Yes! Jesus Christ! I feel like I'm playing Vampire... Vampire Redemption again. With Pathfinding, it's too stupid to move through a door. Ocean of Haste. journal is written in a powerful flowing script. It's over a thousand pages long. Look at the beginning pages. Thyast, a promising spell summoner of the revered house of Amath, began this journal in the year of falling petals, about 50 years before the fall of Myth Journal. She rues the mysterious death of Erevé Irithil, the heir of the coronal, and fills pages with hopes and opinions of who the city's new leader might be. 
She seems completely unaware of the dark forces gathering to assail Mithranor. Middle pages. On these pages, the mage Thias recounts the many signs of doom appearing in the city. Chief among them, the flight of Sakala of the Seven Rings, headmistress of the Incanisteum School for Wizards. Thyast vows she vows she will never leave the city she loves and embarks on studies to invent great spells to use against Mithranor's many foes. The end of the journal is filled with fevered scribblings about arcane matters. Thyast seems to have discovered a new way to bring the fallen back to life. The mage's last words are, I go tonight out to the dangerous battlefields and spark my blood flame. It will leap from fallen to fallen and restore fire to bodies gone cold. There's nothing more. The rest of the pages are blank. A T H E. I don't even know who that is. Decomposition. So little time. What's <laughs> five dagger? I have four plus five is what six to nine, and this sword is three to nine, so that is better than his sword. Or mm -hmm. four to nine for the sword. Plus five quarter staff, plus two con, minus two strength, plus one all saving throws, cast resurrection. Maybe somebody other than the cleric can equip that. We have another source of resurrection. That would be good. Triple damage versus lizard men. Are there even any more lizard men in the game? <laughs> Could probably get rid of that thing. <clears throat> mm. Must be done. Any means. Mithranor will live. Dead. Again. Scroll of mass resurrection. Circle of Death. You found a secret door. I live. I live. Cool. Armor class thirty one twenty die twelve. Well, we found Thyast. She's a lich now. Duck Live and Jeriel are dead. It really fucking hurts. Oops. Exactly what I was trying to do.
times. Good times. Every every lich fight we've encountered has been like a surprise lich out of nowhere. Plus three armor class, vulnerability necklace. If anybody wants that. This is some pretty, pretty awesome treasure for a lich. Plus three to hit, plus three damage, minus one con, plus three intelligence. Cast Searing Light. Again, somebody seems to have forgotten there are no classes in the game that use intelligence. <laughs> None. One gold piece. Why are you making skill checks here? Look through the door. You see nothing. <laughs> Mummified head. Ancient skull. Is that the skull of, uh... What's her name? The Priest of Mistra? The remains in the sarco sarcophagus have been pawed over and the head is missing. Okay, no it isn't. It's the head of this. Go now! Avenge me! Avenge, avenge you, who? <laughs> that, okay. No. No details. Avenge me. Plus five leather. Victoria's Leather Corset, 5 Armor Class, 6 Charisma, minus 2 Fortitude saving throws, cast Dominate Person, Aura Bonus plus 2. Like, why have the, the penalty to saving throws? Why does everything have to have a downside in this game? Can't you just make an item good? Is that too much to ask? Thigh high leather boots. Victoria's boots of beguiling gait. Cast displacement. Two dexterity, two reflex, plus ten movement. The fighters probably want that. What do you have? You have boots that are just movement and nothing else. There you go. Enjoy. You have. Yes, the anti reptile boots. Not about those. Potion your sight. Winged longbow, arrow flight of angels. Casts resurrection. This plus two con is a plus five bow. All right. Winged knife. Plus five dagger with plus one con and casts raise dead. <clears throat> 
Yeah, if I give the rogue a fighter level, he, in theory, should be able to equip longbows. Right. We've already replaced his plus five dagger with another plus five dagger. Victoria's Gloves of Electric Touch. Okay, Shocking Grasp, plus two strength. Will saving throw, plus one. your gloves. Plus one constitution. Hmm. He would actually lose a bunch of hit points if we unequipped that. Or would he? No, he's got the necklace, so if I give him these, could in theory equip him with this. Assuming we can find a decent shield. This fucking crashy, buggy, shitty fucking game. God. Hello, Jonas. Orogs? Wow. Orog Marauder boss. It's going. This game is way, 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 way too fucking long, though. It just never ends. Ancient Singed Journal. Last entry. Corlon Larethian willing, we shall strike the Dark General's encampment at dawn and eliminate Drenofiend himself. Victoria. Scrolled below sometime later. Alas for the elves of Nevelir, they were caught at unawares while they slept, slain in cold blood by the assassins of Griana, youngest daughter of Queen Ferudin of the House of Freth. Okay. 
a plus four mace. Light mace, specifically. You must gather your pony. <laughs> What happened to my formation? Why are you... Does the formation get broken when people die? And freaking fantastic. Okay, it's a lot, a lot more orogs than I initially thought. Somebody who's paralyzed. Yeah, because they're all fucking like mega marauder or mega frogs or whatever. Because they didn't have the fucking resources to just make more enemy types, so they just keep recycling the same enemies over and over and giving them more and more stats. So that you're fighting the same fucking things in the same fucking environments for a million goddamn hours. Ah. It's fine though, it's fine.
Good attack rolls. A plus. Ring of Cast Bless. Really? Wow. Like, if it was a ring that permanently blessed the character that was wearing it, it would be interesting. But a ring that's just ten charges of bless, like... Okay? Bent key. viewpoint to target this character who's right walking beside oh my god it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine This lock, crude metal key. Didn't you just pick that up? No. I guess oh, it was like a bent key, right? Yeah. Okay. Hi. 
Another bed key. Required a key, and our reward for going into this locked room is the exact same key we used to get into it. What? Did they like fuck up and forget to put the key for this chest in this room? just works. It's not, I'm not kidding. What? Why are the Orogs of the Undead not fighting? Are they fucking buddy-buddy now? Maybe they are fighting. No, wait. No, they're not fighting. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. No, it's definitely not Thursday. They forgot to set up the factions. We're, we're into the very unfinished part of the game now, I guess. Which is insane, much given the condition of the rest of the game. Where are you fucking idiots even going? Like, they can't path to me, so they're just like, yeah, let's just go all the fucking way this way. This way now. This this was chosen by you guys and basically paid for with subscriptions, so <coughs> I gotta see it through. The people wanted to watch this. So here they go. Enjoy.
Is this room glowing purple? Hold, hold, I say. I know where lies the mysterious chain mail of Nethras. Is that of interest to you? Then hold your weapons and swallow your spells. Okay. Ah, good. I need just a moment to ready this spell. Fair enough. You enjoyed that because all you're gonna get fucking do to me for this dire fight, shithead. <laughs> Oddly shapeless armor, Nezrus's mysterious chainmail. I'm a class five, dexterity three, wisdom minus three, will saving throws minus two, reflex saving throws plus two. Cast blanket level 15, armor bonus plus 5. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that, that encounter had an odd, odd amount of effort put into it. This game. I'm assuming this sucks. That's not that bad, really. Same armor class as this. You would be gaining losing wisdom, don't care, losing saving throws, gaining reflex saving throw. Well saving throw is more important than reflex. Well saving throw is all the paralysis nonsense, so stupid what he has. 
Oh, fucking fantastic more poems. Oh. Why? Why? Pickles. What is going on in this room? First of all, get away from the golems, because I'm scared of golems. What? What are we? What are we fighting against? White? Total annihilation. Total annihilation. Great soundtrack. Okay, the golems are not. Why are the golems not attacking me? Can't even trade a combat with them. Something's gonna fucking wake them up. With that, I could. Something is glowing green in there. It is cool. I will, I will give them props that they actually had dynamic lighting affecting their pre-rendered 2D backgrounds. That's pretty good for 2001. I'll, I'll give them that. Writ above the door in the runes of elves, dwarves and humans are the words. Last repose of the stout folk of Mithranor. All the letters warning, let any who take without giving be aware. So there's treasure, and if we take it, the golems aren't going to attack us. Okay. Cave Dogs next game. Or Gas Powered Games next game. <laughs> Boy, I bet you that sequel to Supreme Commander is going to be great. Oh, go. <laughs> yes, run into the room. Commander 2 was so oh, just oh the first game is so good and the sequel is so bad it hurt it hurts my soul yes cave dog was was part of the same company that made putt putt <laughs> Hot Pot destroys the universe!
Why are you... The pathfinding! Ah! That fat? God damn, dude. Hey, Saskia. This fucking thief is gonna die. I mean, we could play it at default speed and just have the battle take an hour. Here we go. Uh, 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 there's one turn. Let's shoot some magic missiles. Uh, I can't possibly imagine how, why I never finished this game back in the day. It's a mystery to me. I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. It's too slow. An uneasy feeling comes over you. Something unseen is at work here. <clears throat> yes, this this game and Wizardry 8 have a lot in common, but at least the combat in this game is reasonably entertaining. <clears throat> and even janky D&D is better than whatever the hell character system they had in that game. Hey, Ashles. Common Iron Blade. Moon Splinter, another plus five dagger. Plus one armor class, plus one all saving throws, plus one initiative, plus 13 spell resistance. Cast Globe of Invulnerability. A weapon without any downsides on it. Yeah, both of the games could have been awesome if the developers weren't out of their fucking minds. So that wake up the golems. He sure did.
Thamar's turn. She went surprisingly well. supposed to uh, pick up a knife and then throw it in there to not piss off the doors, I guess. We'll get everybody stuck. Yeah, this total annihilation music. The soundtrack for this game is just WAV files in the folders, so I've been swapping out the combat music. Because there's one combat song and it's really fucking boring. <clears throat> to listen to the same shitty-ass song for 40 hours. Yes, Total Annihilation has a great soundtrack. Hey, Doomsday. There's the common iron knife. Phantom hands and drag down into a place beyond the grave. It's, it's, it's going. <laughs> Surprisingly, we're still in brown hallways fighting skeletons, zombies, and orcs. 40 hours into the game. There was an egg in there, yes. 
Again, you get the feeling you are being watched. Give to me what you would take. There was a common iron blade on the floor, but it fucking vanished. It was like right in here. A few tro. We haven't gone and fought the crazy tro camp yet. Apparently we're gonna find some kind of st staff of sunlight. We encountered a friendly dro who told us to go get the staff of sunlight, which will help kill dro, apparently, so. <laughs> what we're currently doing. Black Hilted Short Sword, Shadow Whisper, plus five short sword, plus read all save throws. The rogue has gotten three weapon upgrades in like ten minutes. <laughs> since since they're feeling so generous to him, how about a uh, plus five short bow? That would be cool. Stairs going up. Interesting. Okay. There's plenty of the floor above us we haven't looked at yet. Maybe we have to go up there. Get to a different section of the map. <clears throat> I'm surprised you're not attacking me. I just took your plus five short sword there. Oh, there's a common iron blade and mallet. Place common iron spiked club. Light Elven Bludgeon, Aster Felon, the Mace of Power, plus six to hit and damage, minus two dexterity, plus three wisdom, plus one will saving throw. Hmm. Hmm. What are you using? Yes. So it'd be what? Seven to thirteen damage. <clears throat> Look how tiny. <laughs> Look at the size difference between this fucking sword, which is bigger than he is, and then this little baby mace. I'm guessing hold monster won't work on them. I don't think so.
What are you fucking talking about? Whatever. Plus five longsword, plus two con, oh! plus five spell resistance. Cast Slay Living. Thank you for the follow. Just stick with the club we found at the beginning of the game. Because it does double damage. Oh, I didn't actually pick Blade up. I need a better viewpoint. Yeah, we, the club we f is something we found on the first floor of the dungeon. It's a, it's a plus three club that does double damage to everything in the game. Which is why this guy hits so fucking hard. Just smashes everybody to pieces. RPGs, you always want to take swords. Swords are always the best. But in this game, there's no weapon proficiency, so... Easy use everything. to int plus seven versus constructs. It's kind of shitty. That is, that is the worst. That's why I find the weapon proficiency system in D&D is always kind of a pain in the ass in video games, because at least in pen and paper, the DM can just, you know, oh, you're specced into fucking glaives, well, and here's a plus five glaive, have fun. But when you're playing a video game, it's like, who knows what the developers put into the game. No idea. Bartoth's Bane, plus five. Max castle person does twice normal damage, but as a blunt weapon. That's pretty fucking good. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Uh, give it to you. I need to find this guy a uh, shield. Yeah, exactly. There's like 8 million weapon types. We didn't spec into... You know, Gwis Arms. Kingmaker did a pretty... Pretty good job of that. Like, I, my, my two-handed fighter in that game was spec'd into glaives, and there was like... Good glaives for the whole game. <clears throat> 
And there was like every weapon type was, was represented pretty well. That's just a, it's just a really good game. Kingmaker's really good. Okay, well this was a pretty, <laughs> pretty epic little treasure area here. Plus five weapons for everybody. Still don't know how we get over here. In fact, I don't think we can. Since this way. Yeah, Wrath of the Righteous, uh, once they patch it, I'm sure it'll be fine. As long as you don't care about the story. I'm sure the story is terrible. The writing in Kingmaker is awful. <laughs> oh. What's your problem, boyo? Starting to hurt. Oh, yeah, look at those big beefy hits. Mm. Beef. Beef. Please don't interrupt me. You son of a bitch. Okay, well, we, we picked up all these. Things that cast resurrection, right? Wasn't it like a longbow? Yes, cast resurrection. Okay. Keep the longbow. Rogue's terrible. I would advise anybody playing this game to not make a rogue, but the better advice would be just don't play this game because it sucks. <laughs> <coughs> don't subject yourself to this garbage. Of course it was panned when it was released because it was it was incredibly broken. None of the reviewers played far enough to like identify this game's real problems though. Yeah, 
they play the first floor. Like, yeah, that's good enough. That was weird. Um, yeah, play the first floor. Yeah, good enough. Write the review, uninstall it, wipes half their hard drive. And they hit hard. There's no speed mod back then. Maybe I should give that to the main guy. He's got more strength. You know, like, come at me here. up my formation again? Stop it!
Music's from uh, Total Annihilation. Thank you for the follow. I mean, it is the same. We were talking about it earlier, how it's the same parent company that made the Putt-Putt games. It made Putt-Putt and Total Annihilation. in a bit. Which is good. We just need like a plus five short bow for our uh, rogue. Or next time he levels up I'll just give him a fighter level. And then uh, then you can use long bows. Theoretically. locked. If I just sit here, will they open the door for me? You pick the lock. Something seems to be blocking the door. I can't actually open the door because this asshole's on the other side of it. Wonderful. Hey, Vic. so broken. Okay, I've vacated the premises of the door. Okay, that guy's swinging at me through the door now. through the door. I mean, there are shadows, so they could, they could in theory do that, but this is weird. This is weird. Jesus Christ.
Oh yeah, we're on the other side of the chasm. So going across the chasm just saves you having to go through this, I guess. Yay. <clears throat> that door. I don't think that's a door. time today no just there we go flat brass key bent elven key Beautifully sewn leather gauntlets. Theodore's Gloves of Kinship. Plus two initiative, plus two charisma cast. Charm monster. Yeah, without the, the speed mod, that would have been fun. Oh yeah, you have gauntlets of ogre power. To help you carry more stuff. I don't think you're actually going to get any charisma from these, right? Maybe? Oh no, you're getting six charisma from your rod. Okay, definitely not. Oh, you. Dexterity gauntlets. Plus two charisma ring. It's also minus two wisdom, minus one int. Yeah, they, they just copy and pasted the entire game. Hello, Astral. How you doing, man? Yeah, it's, it's still a janky mess of a game. That's going on and on and on. <laughs> and on and on. the whole playthrough from scratch. Played it for five minutes and instantly regretted buying it. I know the feeling, Tom. Asshole. 
Hide from that. If they weren't huffing drain cleaner when they were working on this, it could have been a, not necessarily a Baldur's Gate competitor, but it could have been a decent game. Serpent key. Plus four dagger, plus five versus constructs, plus one strength. Minus four constitution amulet that casts heal four times. Who would it? These items. <laughs> the itemization in this game is so fucking strange. Head pole. Interesting. Thanks for the follow, man. Ah, by the tooth. You have done what we could not. Fed the dust to old Gorithi and toppled the skull. Now we must go. For our shrine sits empty and we fear the silver fire has gone out. Or worse yet, the cult of the dragon has found it. Uh, Golrithi in the skull? Ah, spit when you say that name. He was a foul crawler and reeked of hatred. For the light of our shrine, most of all. That led him ever deeper into blackness and to raise shibboleths to gods we will not name. Gods that feast on pain. How'd you get here? But how ungrateful we are. Please accept our thanks for freeing us. The days have been a blur of pain. And most agonizing of all was the vision of our shrine unprotected and our duty of failure, as Golrithi well knew when he set his trap for us. But you asked how we came to be imprisoned here. The air wafted into us the sweetest of odors, the scent of another of our kind. And so we foolishly left the protection of our shrine. The scent was false and led us straight into Golrithi's trap of pain. Now we must get back to our shrine. Walk with Mistra until we meet again. Okay. <laughs> that was random. Center. No, that's the whole thing I broke. <clears throat> the thing I smashed.
I just cured him. Fucker. Heavy battle axe, the meat cleaver, plus two, light axe, plus four versus orcs and orogs. Yay. <laughs> Wand, of Wand of entanglement. Does that mean they actually intended to have uh, druids in this game at some point in time? They had time to implement entanglement, but only one level six spell or two level six spells. Interesting. Um. There's stuff up here we didn't do yet. <clears throat> Dear. She sit across the drawbridge to get to the stairs. I'm assuming they're these. There's no there's no way in here. Whatever. Anyway. Why would I be expecting sense and logic from this game at this point? How far ahead is is the rogue? Oh, he's actually almost leveled up. Six five six eighty. Seven four five eighty is almost ten thousand more XP. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Why does opening locks and disarming traps give more XP than enemies do? Yeah. <laughs> 
Apparently I was in melee range of that guy. Okay. Stop paralyzing my people! Stop it. Spell fails. Dragonkin? Oh my god, it's a new enemy? I think it's just recycling the gargoyle model, though. <laughs> That's my move, you fuck. See how you like it. So just ran away. Nice. game. This fucking thing's flapping wings. Dude, dude, dude. Fine, hit hit this thing. Jesus Christ. Start rotating. <clears throat> Rotate. 
the hell do you think I'm playing here? is 18 natural strength finally. Missiles in another one of these stupid maps. <sighs> Alright, I'm Seagull. Have a good night, dude. Hello! Thank you for the follow. Cure Serious Wounds Ring. Apparently I'm in combat with these two dro away the fuck out in the middle of this hallway. Um, oh, oh, there's one here too. Okay, hi. Where the hell do you guys come from? One of them just ran away. Sure, sure, whatever. Found a shortcut to the surface. Apparently, the heavy key was used to open that key that was in the same goddamn room as the door locked. Welcome, travelers. I have at least one new tale to tell you, thanks to Nottle. Eh, what's Nottle's new tale? As I said, I heard this tale from Nottle, so you can judge for yourself what truth may be in it. He would not tell us how he came to learn such a tale. The great wizard arrived in Mithdranor, as Mark Duothel from the Zolkir's court in Thay. When I heard this, I was overjoyed. Here is powerful help indeed. He's renowned for his bravery in opposing the Red Wizards. But what Nautil has learned is this. As Mark Duothel is secretly a member of the Cult of the Dragon, he has come to help defend the Pool of Radiance. So what seemed to be our great hope has turned instead to great dismay. Okay. Noddle did, he updated his inventory with some keys, of all things. Okay. Let's clear out some of this crap.
casually selling plus five weapons. Well, you have this plus five dagger. I don't need it. Alright, that's got resurrection on it. Save that for the rogue. Three hundred and fifty-four thousand gold. And nothing to spend it on. Do 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 do. He's dead. I got XP for selling things? Or maybe for buying the keys? Okay, sure. Why not? Alright, six level spells. Disintegrate's good. What does Repulsion do? An invisible mobile field surrounds a caster and prevents creatures from approaching. Creatures within or entering the field must attempt saving throws. If they fail, they become unable to move toward the caster for the duration of the spell. That's kind of handy, actually. Uh, circle of death. Snuffs out the life forces of living creatures, killing them instantly. Spell slays one die four hit dice worth of living creatures per caster level. Okay. Creatures with at least nine hit dice are not affected. Oh, well. Then why, why do one hit die per level if you have to be level 12 to even, oh my god, whatever. Anyway, Chain Lightning, it seems like you can target this like you can target Magic Missile, charging from the AI casting it at us. So they make a save or they take 5 to 6 damage. Or they die instantly. It's kind of a tough call between Chain Lightning and Disintegrate. Me. Take Disintegrate. again. I mean, the formation system was working fine for, like, the majority of the game. And now all of a sudden it's just like, nah.
bum 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 you fuckhead. Smash. 17 months, dude. You, you are smashing many of things in this game. Ah! Get disintegrated, bitch. I forgot to check what, like, feats and shit we got. Twelve. Precise shot. So he's, he's, he got point-blank shot and precise shot. They're like, I guess the fighter could be an archer now, like, a million hours in the game if you want. Okay. Thanks. It's, uh, not great. <laughs> it's way too long. It's very, very, like, repetitive. They didn't, I guess they didn't have time to make the game, so they just, like, copy and paste content. when you've got these shadows targeted. You can barely see the red on them. Hey, that actually worked.
down. No, no, no! Twenty, we couldn't find whatever the hell's hidden here. are really holding that formation together well. Well, that was a fairly pointless room. Go around, dude. You, there's nowhere to go. Just, just wait. Just sit still. Ugh. Ow. Going.
Ah. That was a lot of undead. So what are you guys trying to skill check? It's trapped? No. No idea. <clears throat> yeah, it is. <laughs> Those dragon kinners. It's just a recycled gargoyle model. Get disintegrated. Okay. 
Ring of Silence. Cast Silence. Four times. <laughs> Why? Why would anybody ever use this? Especially this far into the game. <sighs> you don't have any way to get the charges back. Used to move in proper formation. You're just like, no. The spellcasters will be at the front. Wasting my time with fights like that. Got a hundred percent success rate with Disintegrate so far.
Spanks level up. I don't think you got any feet. Still six level spells. We've got four casts to peel now. trap enough doors to make it worth checking them all with the rogue, but there are trap doors and they are annoying. Skin and Bone Gauntlets, Gloves of Necromancy, plus three wisdom, cast Halt Undead, or Armor Class versus Undead. What kind of gloves you would think? You don't have any gloves on? Really? Well, you do now. <laughs> How the hell did he not have any gloves? <laughs> You're an indistinct voice behind the wall, beyond the wall. Listen. You hear the rumbling voice continue. They're just outside, it says. The voice goes on. If they find the door, I may lose a body or two. Kill them well, the voice commands. Believe the body's intact this time. I don't hear anything else. Oh good. Great. <laughs> Great, you just turned half the room invisible. Guess I'll just have to keep her elite fireballs in there. Ow. Is he paralyzed? Son of a bitch.
Cut that shit out. Oh yeah, multi needs a fighter level. Alright. Maybe I should give him a ranger level. Maybe he'll get some kind of archery feat. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> so now he should be able to use that plus five longbow we have, right? Item is too large for you to equip. What? Come on. Should have made this guy human. Fuck's sakes. He got favored enemy orcs for his one level of ranger. And bloody tastic. Okay. <clears throat> this weapon's too big for you to use. Fuck off. Salve of Undead Repair. Cast inflict serious wounds. Plus five great hammer. <clears throat> Ceramic jar of black goo, salve of I can't believe it's not black pudding. Effects unknown. Okay. be used outside of combat. What the fuck is it then? It's it's pretty awesome just watching them just casually just do 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 past all my fighters who are just like I, I, I don't know what to do just stand here case and fucking point
Sounds like humans are talking just on the other side of this door. Listen. But, but sir, what about the trap room? Oh! Make the walk in front, you idiot! And don't come back until you've found them! Something about a trap room? Thank you for the follow, by the way. <laughs> When the morale breaks and they just vanish from the map. Target is too far away from your previous target. It is a massive improvement, but almost anything would be a massive improvement. All the boring ass fight song this game ships with. Yeah, there's, there's only one combat song in this game, and I, after like 20 some odd hours of listening to that one really shitty song, I just got sick of it. Uh, all the music files in this game are just WAV files, so I just, every day I've been swapping out the combat song with something different. Just, just for my sake and your sake, to keep our sanity. The song we're hearing now is from the Total Annihilation soundtrack. Ninety-eight damage. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> That's uh quite the hit.
How many enemies are in this room? This is kind of ridiculous. Apparently I have now blocked myself from being able to attack anything here. Yay. Ow. You gotta be setting some kind of record for like the most fireballs ever cast in one D&D &D combat. This is kind of ridiculous. Whoops. I need to skip his turn. Damn it. Fireballs do solve a lot of problems. Well, now the soundtrack makes everything more exciting, so yes, definitely. Dudes. Holy Christ. <clears throat> uh, what did we get? We got a plus five longsword, which in any other D&D game would be... Sexy shit you could possibly find. In this game, it's like, eh. <laughs> Tia Kingdoms. I, I played that back in the day, and I, I remember thinking it was not, not very good. But I've never gone back to it. Maybe I'd like it more now.
Yeah, it was a very strange follow-up to Total Annihilation. It doesn't really play like Total Annihilation, like, at all. It also had a terrible soundtrack compared to the original. Okay, just cleave that thing to death. immune there's a lot of monsters that are immune to paralysis in this game for some bizarre reason So far, Disintegrate has instant killed every single enemy we've used it on. <laughs> They're supposed to get a saving throw. I'm wondering if it's broken. If it is, I'll take it. stuck and where there we go
It's a freaking Dro circle jerk. <laughs> All my shields are pink, are they? I think it might be the lighting in this one's. Speaking of shields, we haven't found a shield in a million years, and we need a shield for Emmerich there. There's more of them in there. What the? Oh, fuck's sakes, we're getting flanked here. Yeah. <laughs> it just works on everything. Chain Lightning, however, kind of... Kind of lame. Ow. Quiver of common adamantium tipped arrows. Scroll of darkness. When would I ever, ever use that spell? It blocks my own characters, so I can't see anything beyond useless. Old elven prison key. Plus four dagger. Potion of Cure Blindness. So far we haven't been blinded.
not even a fucking chest. Thank you, game. Oh boy, gems. How much money do we have? 383,000 gold. Nothing to spend it on. And they're giving me fucking stacks of gems. Thanks. Prison key uses key to open the lock. They can clip through the doors. The door's locked. They'll, they'll clip through the door. Otherwise, they open it. Yeah. This is one of the many very odd things in this game. I suppose you can disintegrate a ghost, can you? You can disintegrate ghosts. Okay. Nice. Open the door. The ghost is in the door. God damn it. I can't target him. This is this is cool. That actually worked. No, don't Lord. 
Miss. Miss. You're gonna... Job spotting those things. Guess he's in range. Okay, Sh sure. <clears throat> I wonder how hacked together the line of sight is in this game. Like, if you look at the source code, like, it's got to be the most spaghetti code of all time. Doesn't function like at all. Yeah. 
you're all he's all the fucking way down there. Come on. Get over here. Where are you? Is he just he's like going back and forth in this one spot? Fan fucking tastic. What the what? Suddenly draw. Why did you loss? Throw who run away. <laughs> he's still he's still doing it. Oh, he made his saving throw. Why is this air cat so annoying? Just die. Say it could be another one of the guys who just runs away, but he's actually shooting at me. You know how in like every every game with mouse movement ever, when you like click outside of your movement range, your character will just go the maximum distance they can. Like every video game ever has done this. This game doesn't. If you click outside your movement range, your character just doesn't move. But they don't show you your movement range, so you gotta wave your mouse around to try and find like a valid movement location. It's... Uh, it's so bad. It's oh, ghetto. What is this? Is this another surface exit? Looks like it. Yep. Hello, you idiot. They are hurt. Mistra, show them your face. Ask, and I will tell you what I know. They have nothing. All right. And so, I think.
Drained a bunch of levels. Thanks. Yes, he has, he has a single arrow, arrow of dire flatulence. A stinking cloud when you shoot it. Oh, these are like high level scary drill. Oh boy. That's not good. They do so much damage. Jesus. Please don't resist. Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay, can we not have any more bands of like psycho high level dro just randomly attacking me? That would be that would be swell. Just 
destroy the Lich's phylactery. The sanctum for his life force destroying him will now end his existence permanently. <laughs> what Lich? What? <laughs> we just randomly stumbled upon a Lich's phylactery. That's cool. Just inside a random box. You guys are always like, oh, you're breaking all the furniture. Why are you breaking all the furniture? No, no. No, 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 no. There he is. Found him. Ah, <laughs> fuck. Just get the fuck out of the way. You unfortunately have to pick the log. Oop, it didn't aggro him. Get in his face. If this works, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. It's worth a shot. We are on the third floor of the second dungeon. So if you want to count total floors, we're on like... Seventh floor? Not counting the like outdoor areas and stuff. Okay, the Lich is dead. This Phylactor is dead. So that's good. Sort of. There's still a bunch of stuff on the first floor we have to do, and we barely even touched the second floor. The second floor is all locked doors and, like, a path that took us to the third floor, so uh, I'm assuming we need to go down and around and then back up again, but... We shall see, I guess. So Lich didn't even have, like, any loot at all. Just none. Just a... Just fight this random Lich. Get nothing. Thanks. How many liches have we killed now? Like five or six? Why is this door locked? There's nothing in here. Thank god we got the rogue with us. Today we have some total annihilation music. Oh, these guys are all gonna attack us. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not great, Biohazard. One might even call it terrible. <laughs>
Yeah, they, they, they released four patches for this game, which fixed most of the, the more serious stuff anyway. safe to rest in and then ghosts spawned out of nowhere and attacked me. Okay. Doesn't make sense for ghosts, but usually rooms that have ambushes in them are not safe to rest in. Like this was for like three seconds before the ghosts appear. skeletons that don't actually the weird mouth thing that they're supposed to have on their chest in this game because they just cycle the same zombie model of every fucking undead monster. Do it. Fifteen. What the hell kind of ghetto fireball was that? zombies. Why not? I didn't even know there was a- oh, it's a fan-made porn, right? See, I didn't know they had a Game Boy game, I'm not three, but... It's fan-made.
uh, sword equipped. Like improved visuals over the PC version or something. Otherwise, why not just play the PC version? Random, random jail cell. This is this is the like the big problem with this game. You, you could have fixed this game by just taking the, the, on each of the four two dungeons. Just take the four floors you have, delete three of them, keep one giant floor, and then take all the scripted events you put on all four floors and put them all on one floor. Then you have like one floor packed with things to do and see. And it's still a huge floor that takes like 10 fucking hours to clear, so it's not like the game is super short or anything. Just having four giant floors with like one or two points of interest on each. It's just, <laughs> just cut this thing down. Too far? Really? <clears throat> well, if you want to play the proper the, the proper Ultima Three, you, you don't want to play the DOS version. You want to play the Apple the Apple Two version. That's got the intended visuals and everything.
somebody drop a shield? Like, it could be a non-enchanted regular ass shield. Just something. I need a shield. This friggin' goof. Not gems. I don't need gems. I need a shield. We've almost come all the way around to this side where we can go stairs. I'm gonna miss something here. Crap. Of course there's no way easy way to get back over there. <clears throat> you get out of there? Hi, hi, hi.
Okay. Yes, it's total annihilation music for the combat today. I'll have something different tomorrow. There's so many gems. There's nothing to spend your money on in this stupid game. Apparently the gel cells save. Okay. Get our disintegrates back. Dark Souls, Ornstein, Snow Small Theme. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad one. DMC eight or not. Okay, that was a whole bunch of nothing. It does take a year to finish this fucking thing. We're not wrong. <clears throat> How? Jesus. Straight up dead, too. Lovely.
looking forward to my next level up so we can get Disintegrate on our other sorcerer. Disintegrate is so good. It's ridiculous. Look, chain lightning. Oh boy, more gems. Thank you. Thank thank you, game. Whatever would we have done? Without more gems to sell. Stopped by a ghastly and alarming smell, the stench of putrefying flesh mixed with the sickly sweet smell of Aracat eggs. Good thing we know what the Aracat eggs smell like, I guess. <laughs> Sorcerer's got two attacks per round now? Nice. Nice. So inspecting those things sets them off. That's, that's cool. That's cool.
Fantastic. Well, we need a key. Corroded metal key. Mother. 20 die 10. Okay. Well, this is... This is real bad. Um... Huh. Ow. Sign. That's that's great. These things are immune to fucking hold monster. Okay, somehow oh, I'm not hitting all of them, but somehow not hitting. And <laughs> right, works for me.
It's so weird. I'll take it. Get the fuck away from me. Nice. Don't die. He died. He's not dead, he's unconscious. Okay. Yeah, well, we're not gonna risk that. You just sit there and chill. It's, it's the same, like, three enemy types there is in the entire game. different names for the enemies. I'm just talking variety as in like models, like visual, visual variety. There's fuck all in this. Forty damage fireball. That's pretty good. Too bad there's no like meta magic in this. Uh, whose turn is it? The cleric. is drawn to the corpse of a cult mage most recently sucked dry and tossed upon the Aircat's bone pile. The corpse still grips a golden stave. Examining it, you realize it is one of the legendary sacred staves of sunlight, created by betting nomads to honor their sun god, Atar the Merciless. Hey, Duncan. So this is what we were told to find, because apparently this thing will fuck up Dro, like, real bad. Sacred Staff of Sunlight. Read high six damage. Versus draw, plus 7 to hit, plus 7 damage, plus 7 initiative, plus 7 spell resistance. Cast Searing Light. Versus draw, plus 7 armor classes, all saving throws, plus 7 triple damage. Yeah. I could see how that would be good against draw. <laughs> it's, it's a smart thing to do, but there's literally like 4 models in this entire game. Like, <laughs> there's, there's orcs, zombies... Ghosts, Aracats, Cultists, Drow, Ghosts, unless I said Ghosts already. <laughs> it's not enough. Nowhere near enough. No, you're supposed to heal him. <laughs> yeah, don't make your game 9 million billion hours long if you only have, like, three enemies. What do we got here? Ornate Longbow, Prince Antone's Stormbow, 1 die 8 damage, plus 5 to hit, plus 5 damage, double damage, minus 3 strength, plus 3 dex, plus 1 reflex saving throws, has 5 charges of Castle Lightning Bolt. And I'll bet you anything my rogue can't equip it because it's too big. There's the key to the stairs. Blood spattered journal. Hey, Ivanooks. Temple of Elemental Evil is a much better version of this game. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, the trap runes are in place, but the labyrinthine nature of these accursed dungeons is maddening. There seem... There seem to be an unusual amount of large spider creatures down here. I found some old elven wine, which is quite refreshing. Relaxing. Must rest. Yes, quite. Potions of restoration. 
Right. Fuck. Is there like a save editor for this game where I can change this guy into a human? <laughs> Being halfling was a big mistake. <laughs> this bow was so good. Fuck sakes. The, the halfling's too small to equip the bow. Like, I took... I took one level of ranger with with the the rogue so that he could be able to use longbows, but longbows are too big for halflings to use in this game apparently. So he can't actually use it. Yes, Jane Lands one is next. We hit the Jane Lands one goal today. And now we're working towards two. Let's see. Universal save editor. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> if 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 tomorrow's stream this guy suddenly turns into a human, uh, just you know, we just think he had a, a growth spurt. <laughs> just ignore it. It'll be fine. Is there like a room we can rest in around here? Maybe the. Uh, Stairs room is safe. Not safe. Right. Where was a safe room? Rebirth? No. Ow! God damn it. It's a world filled with magic. I'm sure anything is possible. Secret door. The coffin. That's gonna be a lich, I bet. <laughs> Every secret door in this dungeon has a lich behind it. Son of a fucking... Psychic, it's a fucking lich.
This is a merchant in Siege of Dragon Spear, which if you go through like 16 layers of dialogue, will eventually tell you they're trans. And everybody like lost their shit. Pointless thing to get fucking all pissed about. It's like the most like. Oh, we found a slacker. Yeah, liches ain't shit. <laughs> Just as long as we can get our, our melee characters in their face, they're they're done. Yep, game ruined. There's a merchant. Yeah, I, I don't care what the fucking gender of a make-believe video game character is. I couldn't give less of a shit. Could not give less of a fuck. <clears throat> I'm on team don't give a crap. I've played through Siege of Dragon Spear twice. Streamed it, even. It's good. It's it's got really good encounter design. Uh, the story is pretty dumb, but I don't really care that much about the story. But the uh, the dungeons and stuff were a lot of fun in the game. Do you think counter design here is better? No. <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, I did. I did like how it tied into Icewind Dale. That was pretty cool. I was not expecting that, but like the way they had the, the whole like marketing behind that game was that it was going to bridge the gap between Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 and explain how they ended up getting captured by Renicus, but that is completely ignored until literally the last like minute, the last minute of the game they just suddenly rush through these events that would lead to you getting kidnapped, it's like, that was completely fucking pointless. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh no, you have to leave Baldur's Gate. Quick, run! Oh no, you've been captured. Alright, we've done it. <laughs> Job's a good one. Oh man, this was like a, an actual glyph room. We haven't had a glyph room in fucking ever. This is the place Nathalik told you about, guarded by the cult mage wielding the Staff of Sunlight, deadly to Dro. He signs that Ericat attacked the mage and dragged him back to their lair. And we already found him. Okay, so there's stairs down to the fourth floor. Yes, the explanation is that you get kidnapped by Renicus. Which is exactly the same information you already had. Beginning of Baldur's Gate 2. <laughs> it's just like... It was cool that they got David Warner to come and, and voice the character again. That was awesome. But it was just like, why, why? I... <laughs> All right, that's going to be it for today, everybody. We got the a chunk of the second floor done and 
all of the third floor down. So if if our current progress is is anything to go by, then we have probably two, maybe three more streams of this until we're done. But we're getting there. Yes, Tron and Time Bandits, David Warner voiced uh, John Arenicus in Baldur's Gate 2 and in Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonspear. And he did a fucking awesome job of it. Arenicus is a great villain. But yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with more of this exciting brown dungeon of never-ending zombies and fucking zombies and more zombies, so be sure to swing by for more excitement and uh who can we host oh man salt snack is streaming ultima online that's cool i don't think i've ever watched anybody play ultima online let's go check that out all right folks i will see you guys tomorrow take care have a wonderful day